20 to 30% of all prescriptions every day in the U.S. are off-label. It happens so often. Unfortunately, it happens very randomly. So when drugs are used mm -hmm. off-label, it's because a doctor has read a paper or guidelines or they heard from a colleague that a drug might be useful in a new way. And it's truly random. And the reason that that drug was determined to be effective maybe in an off-label basis is because some researcher somewhere said, I'm going to try this thing for that thing in this lab at that time. Complete randomness. Up until now, we've sort of assumed that like the system is going to work itself out. You know, A great example of this is with Viagra. It was repurposed from heart disease to erectile dysfunction, which most people are very aware of. What most people don't realize is that it was also repurposed for a rare pediatric lung disease called pulmonary arterial hypertension. Kids were not getting enough blood flow to their lungs. A doctor in Houston just thought to himself, I wonder if that drug that works for erectile dysfunction could get blood flow into, into kids' lungs and just decided to try it. And it worked. And the drug was on patent at the time. So the drug companies had an incentive to actually do this systematic work to prove that it, that it actually works. What happens most of the time is that those ideas happen when drugs are already generic because 80% of drugs are generic, so the majority of drugs are generic, and there is no path forward to prove these things that actually work. There is no systematic way mm -hmm. to say this thing might work for that thing, and so the world we're in is one of those worlds of sort of waiting and hoping. That's really what every cure is about. It's about getting away from a world where like, let's hope that this doctor tries this thing out at this time, mm -hmm. and I see that doctor at the right time, and I get the right drug to let's systematically look across every drug and every disease, all 4,000 drugs, all 18,000 diseases, let's systematically score how likely every drug is to treat every disease. And then let's look at the things at the very top of the list that are the quote unquote lowest hanging fruit and let's go push those things forward so that it's not some random doctor making some random observation or the flip side, no doctor making no observation and, and patients mm. not getting the medicine.